I have a question for you. Do you know what the word metamorphosis means? Have you ever heard it before? Let me know either yes or no. I will wait. A few moments later. Okay, so for those of you that do know what it means, awesome, glad to hear it. And for those of you who have never heard of the word, I'm going to define it for you right now so that today's video makes sense. Metamorphosis, the process of transformation from an immature form to an adult form in two or more distinct stages. In simplest terms, you guys know how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly? That is a prime example of metamorphosis. And also I am wearing a butterfly t-shirt to get into the spirit of today's shopping challenge. So we're going to be going into Learning Express and buying all things metamorphosis. Before filming this video, I did a little bit of research and I also found out that not only are caterpillars and butterflies part of metamorphosis, but also ladybugs, dragonflies, frogs, lobsters and crabs, jellyfish, starfish, and I'm sure the list goes on. But those are just a couple of other examples that I found to be very interesting. My main focus for today is definitely to find caterpillar, butterfly, and frog fidgets. And if we find any of those other creatures sprinkled throughout the store, then we will grab those too. But I think this video is going to be a a ton of fun and definitely something different from what you guys are used to seeing from me but before we get started I have a challenge for all of you watching I want to see if you guys can like click subscribe and turn on post notifications in just five seconds I hope you guys are ready because here goes the countdown five four three two one time's up if you guys were successfully able to complete that five second challenge then I want you to comment down below if you had a pet butterfly, what would you name it? And if it could be any colors that you wanted, what colors would it have on its wings? I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Oh, and for a double challenge, I want you guys to create a little house for your butterfly using only emojis. I would love to see how creative you guys could get in the comment section. And by the way, you guys, I'm predicting that we are going to walk out with 50 different fidgets, slimes, and squishmallows that are metamorphosis themed. But we're about to go find out. So without further ado, let's go inside and get this shopping challenge started. Woo! All right, here we are. All right, guys, so I just got into the store and I am already seeing so many things that are going to qualify literally right in front. Let me show you. So these are new. They're called Caterpillar Puffers. And actually, the last time I was here, I saw these and it sort of inspired me to do this challenge today. So we're going to get one in all the different colors and it looks like there are three different colors. So we have blue, we have neon yellow, and orange. If I see any other colors, I will add those too, but I'm pretty sure those are the colors these come in. Anyways, okay, let's cover the front display first. All right, we have a bunny, which does not count. Um, another bunny. There's a chick one, and I did look it up. Chicks do not count for metamorphosis, so we will not be getting those. All right, let's keep going. There's more bunny poppets, some heart ones, these little birds. As I go through the store, if you guys think I missed something, then let me know, but I'm going to try my best to cover everything. <gasps> oh, okay guys, so we can actually count this rainbow lobster poppet because as I had mentioned in the car, apparently lobsters are part of metamorphosis, which I never knew. I always thought it was exclusively just butterflies and frogs, honestly, but you learn something new every day. Let's keep looking. Of course, we have these adorable little jelly roos. We have some of these 3D pop rocker Easter fidgets, which are always so fun. All right, guys, I can confidently confirm that nothing else on this front table counts for today's challenge. So that means that we're going to head over to the toy towers and I have a really good feeling that we're going to find a ton of things over in this display because look at it. It is packed with things. So straight away, I found this colorful wooden caterpillar fidget. And as you can see, you could twist it and turn it and it is just so adorable. So we are going to add this to our basket. Hmm. Do snakes count? I don't think they do. But look guys, it looks like it could just bite you. Dinosaurs, Ugh, why do I feel like lizards might count? Is it supposed to be a lizard? Let me double check on the tag. It's supposed to be a chameleon. Hmm. I'm gonna look up if chameleons go through metamorphosis. One second. All right, guys, so I'm glad I checked. Chameleons do go through metamorphosis, okay? So we are going to add this guy to our basket. Now let's keep looking, okay? Over here, we have some dinosaurs that have Orbeez inside. 
Dinosaurs do not count for this challenge though. Neither do octopus or pineapples or frappuccinos. <laughs> then we have a huge container of centipedes, which ew. Do they count? I'm gonna look it up. I really hope that they don't count because they're really gross, but let's just make sure because I'm pretty sure um, most insects do go through metamorphosis, but I'm going to confirm that that's correct. All right, guys, so it says right here, centipedes do not undergo a process of metamorphosis, so we don't have to get them. Guys, we hit the jackpot down here. Look at all of these caterpillars. I am obsessed with these. Literally, I want them in every color that they come in. So we're going to get dark blue, we are going to get hot pink, purple, and obviously green. Our basket is already starting to fill up. We're gonna wrap around to the other side now just to make sure we didn't miss out on anything. All right, guys, so I just found these. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be worms. Let's see. Oh, wait, never mind. I am so happy I read the tag. So it says puffer caterpillar. Oh my gosh, yay! So that means we are going to get these in every single color. So we've got blue, purple, orange, green, and yellow. Oh my gosh, look. <laughs> Looks like some of his legs got onto his eyeballs. Poor thing. Let's add these to the basket. And then also guys, look what I found. All right, this might be my most favorite find of the day so far. So they're super puffy caterpillars. They're pretty much the same things that we found on the other side, except they are way, way bigger. Huge size difference. So we're gonna get the pink one and wait, I have an idea. Okay, so as I pick these up, I want you guys to help me name them, all right? So we're gonna get this pink one, which I think its name should be Pinky, but if you have a better name, let me know. And then we're gonna get Blue. And if it were up to me, I would name him Blueberry. The orange one is gonna be Sunny D. The purple one will be Purple Stars 02. Duh. And then lastly, the green one. Hmm. Let's name him Lucky. But let me know your name suggestions in the comments below. Next up, we got this wall of fidget toys. All right. So we have stress balls, spaghetti, burgers, sushi. None of these things count. Um... Oh, jellyfish. I read that jellyfish do go through metamorphosis. So let's get the jellyfish in all the different colors it comes in. So that would be green, blue. Oh, there's one more color back there and it looks like it's purple. No jellyfish left behind. I also read that starfish go through metamorphosis as well. So we're gonna get the light blue and we're going to get the purple. Wow, this basket is so colorful. None of these farm animals go through metamorphosis. So that means that we checked out all the items over here. Now, if we come over here, we have a ton of food dimples. We're not even going to investigate those because it's food. Ooh, I wonder if slugs would count. Looks like I'm gonna have to take a second and look it up because I'm seriously not sure. What do you guys think? I'm going to predict that they don't go through metamorphosis, but I guess we'll find out. So give me two seconds. Two seconds later. So update you guys, I just looked it up and they do not count. All right, but now we know. I wasn't sure, but now we know. Ooh, what are these? Creepy crawly critters. Oh, <laughs> these would be so scary if you threw them against a wall and watched them crawl down. I bet you could definitely prank a ton of people with these. Just saying. What are these? Wally crawly gummies? Are they edible? No, they're not. Ew. Okay, well, I'm not entirely sure what type of insect this is. I think they're just supposed to be a mix of creepy bugs, so we're not going to count them. Nothing else over here counts. So now we're going to come over here. We have a penguin, a stingray, a hedgehog, an elephant. I believe this is an alligator. Ooh, okay guys, so I'm going to look up if clownfish counts. Do clownfish go through metamorphosis? All right, let's see what it says. Metamorphosis is an important process for clownfish. So that means that they do. All right, we are definitely going to get one of these pop tubes then. Oh wait, they have like an extra large one too. Okay, we're gonna get both of them. Let's add them to the basket. Oh wait, we could also get this giant crab because I remember reading that crabs also go through metamorphosis. Again, I never knew any of this stuff until this morning. So 
This video is actually probably teaching you guys something too. Looking good. But now we're going to go and check out the crazy errands. And I have to say, I am so excited for that because I specifically remember seeing a ton of butterfly themed ones. So let's go check them out. All right, guys, so we made it over to crazy errands. Look, straight away, I found this social butterfly one. And I am obsessed with the packaging. I mean, talk about eye-catching. So let's add that. There's a hedgehog one, a cat one, a dog one. And then of course we have all of these minis. This is called Amethyst Blush, Aurora Sky. Let's check down here real quick. Ooh, what's this? This is the Crazy Aaron's Hide and Seek, but these are mostly jungle animals. I can remember when I was here the other day, they had, oh, here they are. Okay, so these are Spring Crazy Aaron's and look, okay, how perfect is this? They have one called Spring Frog, and as you guys know, frogs totally qualify for this challenge. And then also, one called Butterfly. I mean, literally, how perfect is this? There's one more, but I don't think it counts. No, it's called Piglet. But how about that, you guys? Two out of the three new Spring Putties qualify. So we're going to add these to the basket. I almost forgot, guys. We have to check out the Jelly Ruse, because I'm pretty sure they have a frog one. So let's put this down and check it out. We have a donkey, a sheep, a monkey, a giraffe, a koala, a lion, a panda. I did read somewhere that pandas go through metamorphosis, but I don't know. Some people say yes, some people say no. I'm really on the fence about it. I am not sure. I didn't have too much time to research. I'm just gonna leave that there. Oh, wait, here it is, the frog. Look how cute he is. I'm obsessed. Do they come with names? Oh wait, yes they do. This is Fritz the frog. And none of these other ones qualify anyhow. So, all right, he's gonna hop on into the basket. Okay guys, so I found these the other day when I was shopping and we have to get them. So they are these tiny little Orbeez filled frogs and they feel like they are super good quality and just really satisfying. Look, they're clear and then you squish them and you see those vibrant Orbeez inside. I love them. So we're going to get them in all the different colors. So that would be purple, pink, and blue. I'm looking at the display and I think they also had them in green at one point. So we're gonna add those and I don't, oh wait, I was gonna say, I don't believe they have anything else that would qualify, but I was doing some research this morning and they say that most fish go through metamorphosis and I mean, yeah, this is technically a fish fossil, but I think we should count it. Okay, so we're gonna get the yellow one and we're going to get the orange one. Boom. Guys, I have to mention it. My lip cests are at the Learning Express in Wexford, PA. There's Cotton Candy Craze, Cookie Dough Craving, Slice of Heaven, which is my favorite, Gummy Bear Obsessed, and Strawberry Bubble Tea. They are my top five sellers. So guys, make sure you come down and get them for yourselves. And the best part is you don't need to pay for shipping. But okay, so now we are going to cover the second half of the store. Okay, we don't wanna miss anything. We're going to look at the circus tent display. All right, I'm just going to kind of scan with my eyeballs. I don't see anything over here. Ooh, okay. Guys, do you think we should get this jellyfish? Oh wait, it says octopus, Never mind. I was going to count it because uh, I thought it was a jellyfish, but to my surprise, it's actually an octopus. So never mind, that does not count. Here's more of those colorful caterpillars that we love so much, some dogs, but nothing that would qualify. So now let's check out the fidget train a purple Storzo 2 favorite. I'm not seeing anything. We already got the wooden caterpillar. Ooh, okay, so let's see what kind of creatures these are. There's a whole bunch of them. I think they're lizards, but I don't know. Let's read the tag. It says, yep, they're lizards. All right, so once again, I'm going to take a moment to research whether or not lizards go through metamorphosis, because if they do, we are going to be coming home with so many of these little guys. A few moments later. Okay, guys, so I just looked it up and they do not go through metamorphosis, so we will not be getting them today. But now we're going to check out the Nidos. And honestly, on second thought, uh, none of the Nidos are going to qualify because I know for a fact that none of these, except for maybe two, are animal themed. Um, yeah, they have Nido pigs and Nido cats, and obviously they don't qualify. So, 
let's go over here and check out the PBJs, which is also one of my favorites. Purple Stars O2's favorites. I think they have a frog PBJ somewhere. Yep, right here. This is different from the Jelly Roo we found. I know they look very similar, but they are not the same. I'm sure he also has a different name from the other one. So this one's name is Lily. But if you guys think you have a better name for this frog, let me know in the comments down below. I love frog fidget toys. I think they are so adorable. So we're gonna have him hop into the basket. Okay guys, so we are now in the slime section and I'm going to show you the slime that literally gave me this idea to do this shopping challenge today. It's from the Kauai Slime Company, literally my favorite brand of slime ever. And it's called Metamorphosis and it's a clear slime, literally. This is so perfect. And just look at it, guys. It is stunning. I actually already have this one at home and it is without a doubt one of the most beautiful slimes that I have. So we are going to add that to our basket. Now we're going to wrap around to this section and it looks like they have tons and tons of Easter themed slimes. I don't think any of the rest are going to count. All right, guys, so the final stop of the day is Squishmallows. We always save the best for last. So I have a feeling we are going to find 10 Squishmallows. Fingers crossed, but we will see. Comment your predictions in the comments below. But again, my guess is 10, which would be a lot. So let's see how many we can find. Lots of Easter animals. I am hoping to find a little frog because frogs and Easter go hand in hand. <gasps> Guys, I found a frog Squishmallow. He is cute as can be. And I love the color of green. He's like super pastel and I love him. So we're gonna get this one. Let's see if we can find any others. Oh, I found another frog. Guys, okay, let's just take a second to appreciate the floral print on his belly. That is so stinking adorable. So we're going to add him to the basket and just saying, I think I'm probably gonna need to get a second basket because this one's full. So let's go grab a second basket before we continue. Basket number two. Okay, so we're back to Squishmallow hunting and look what I found. Is this not the most adorable thing you've ever seen? This is definitely a caterpillar. I know because I always thought that it was a grasshopper for the longest time because I have this, except it's not Valentine's Day edition. So this 100% counts. It's coming home with me. Ooh, okay. And guys, I also just found this little guy and I believe he is a lobster. And lobsters do qualify. Yeah, this is Lorano the lobster and they do go through metamorphosis like I had mentioned in the intro of this video so we can get him as well. I'm trying to find a butterfly squishmallow. We, Oh that's an alien. I thought I found one right as I said that. Um, yeah I'm looking for a butterfly one. I have not found one yet. Let's look over here before we are done. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, I found a butterfly and it's supposed to be in a pilot costume. That is so cute. I believe this is the fifth and final Squishmallow that we are going to be getting today. But now you guys know what time it is. We are going to head over to the counting corner and we're gonna see how many items we ended up finding today. My OG guess was 50, so fingers crossed that I'm close to that, but let's head over there right now. Okay guys, so we have made it to the counting corner. I have one basket that is full of Squishmallows and the other is filled with fidgets and one slime. Okay, so my final prediction is 50. I'm not going to change it, but if you guys have not commented your predictions, then pause the video and comment below how many items you think I found total. Here's an overview of the first basket. And like I had mentioned, this one is full of only Squishmallows and I found five of them, if that helps. But okay, let's start counting right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I was six away from 50, which was my original guess. So I think we did a pretty good job with guessing how many we would find. But now for the toughest question of all, if I had to choose my number one favorite item from today's shopping challenge, ooh, I found so many cool things. I'm gonna pick my favorite slime, Squishmallow and Fidget to make it a little bit easier. 
So my favorite slime would obviously have to be the metamorphosis one because that's the only one that counted anyway. And it is so gorgeous. So this is my favorite slime, my favorite fidgets. Hmm. It would have to be this little PBJ frog. And then my favorite Squishmallow from the challenge would definitely have to be this frog with a floral belly. He is so cute and perfect for springtime. But comment below you guys what your favorite items were that I found in today's shopping challenge. All right guys, so I am back inside of my car and I had so much fun shopping with you today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye! Mwah. Bye! Mwah.